Hey Geekies, welcome to the next episode of the first hour and today we are playing Crow Country from SFB Games uh, and published by Neon Hive. You already know how much we love Neon Hive, all the stuff that we've done with Neon Hive. So thank you Neon Hive for the game code. Uh, let's just hop in. Let's start playing the first hour of this amazing horror game you should have already seen if you're lucky enough of me talking about this game in previous like episodes of stuff but yeah let's hop over and start this game okay geekies so here it is crow country this is an incredible game uh from sfb games as we already said and you know um we got to play the demo uh join steam next first really loved it the demo is about the first half an hour of the game and then after that we will be starting to hit stuff that we didn't actually encounter in the demo uh during the demo you were able to find crystal crystal crows which were kind of like the uh mr raccoon in resident evil however uh it's not in the main game i kind of wish that they had given us it in the main game but you know it's okay we're allowed to have different things done in different ways. Anyway, should we hop in and see what this game is all about? I will show you some of the cool bits and we can just have a good old time in a survival horror video game. Yeah, there we go. Look at that sound. That's beautiful. It's beautiful, I tell you. Beautiful. So... 2024, just today. Way back to 1990, when I would have been four years old. Tiny little Nate. Um, if anyone asks, my name is Mara. Mara Forrest. Special Agent Forrest. That's me, don't forget. Don't mess it up. We're probably going to mess things up. <laughs> I'm just going to be real with you. <laughs> Alright. So that temporary amount of darkness while it just loads in. So here we are. We're in the parking lot of... Of something. We're just going to collect a few of the useful items before we even embark on the adventure. So, E. L. Crow, we need a silver key. All right. Oh, we're going to have some backtracking. That's good. I like, I like a good bit of backtracking in our in our horror games. It's an important feature. So, in our trunk, we should be able to get some bullets that we can stock up on. And then if we Press that. We do that. We press A to load. So that puts all eight shots on the gun. And then it's like, well, I've got enough. It's like, we don't have enough. It'd be kind of nice if I can just, like, ah, the lies. I would like to have just a second pack. It's fine. We'll find more. We will definitely find more. Spoilers. Here we go. Yeah, we have no intention to buy a ticket because it's closed. I mean, a horror game based in... So there you go, there's the controls. So it's all pretty straightforward stuff. The classic, you know, uh, 180. It can only be done with the D-pad. You can't do it holding down on the L-stick. But with the L-stick, you do have pretty... Fast turn. Uh, we've got tips and tricks. These are dotted all around. That's number two. That's number one. <laughs> um, we've got something here. We've also got a Millie invading. Hello, Millie. Uh, right, bottle of antidote. That's good. That's useful stuff. If we get poisoned, we can fix that. Ah, this is the other thing that we need to find. Yeah, pocket light. Nice. Now we can see in the dark. 
Now, there are going to be some creatures that we're going to want to turn that off on. Because uh, otherwise they will know where we are. I mean, that's just standard though. That's a horror game, right? You have to, you have to have the hidden things. So, go to this bin. Let's get more trashy goods. Med kit. Nice. Okay, so we've got bandages. We've got med kits. That's the third one. When shooting your bullets, uh, your bullets will do more damage if they're closer to you. However, what's very useful to know is uh, also if they're close to you, they can hurt you. So it's all about just managing the distance. There's our laser sights. Now we can aim much better. This is one thing I like about the game. It's like, it's like, okay, she doesn't need the loo. This one's nasty because there's a bunch of old bones in there. We can't do anything about it. We've got a book here. Strange sightings at the abandoned beam park. Aspiring paranormal photographer Arthur Mole sent in a Polaroid. He took a while back. Uh, could it be real or just another hoax? He would be on magazine and not convinced. Which I don't blame him. Look at that. That's not a convincing photo that there's something going on there. It's too dark. Uh, that one is closed. And that is closed because there is something in there moving. I reckon that that problem will appear on the the next time that we never do. There's no number, number five vending machines and trash cans. Okay, well we we know about the trash cans. <laughs> Just put it on anyway. <laughs> as far as I know, there's no actual toilet mechanic in this game, so there won't be any uh, needing the loo. Uh, UFO tour 1988. Doors locked. Okay, they. Ah, oh, you disgusting crows. No, don't eat that. It's nasty. Uh, ooh, some gun bullets. Just some bullets. Just casually lying about the place. Yes. That needs a bronze key. We don't have that yet. That's going to be breakable. Hey, antidote. Nice. What else we got? I bet they're explosive barrels. Uh, okay. Yeah. So these do not, whatever you do, do not walk over those traps. They will cause you damage. It's one thing I remember from the demo. Uh, there's something wrong with the ventilator in the fairy pond. We think something might have pulled into the pipes. Okay. Need a silver key to get into that room. Uh, bronze keys in the fairy pond. It's another thing I remember from the demo. Uh, you should blow up barrels to beat them. Oh wait, it just said something about the blue one. Similarly useful, the blue electrical generators found on some walls. Interesting. So we've seen a couple of those. I wonder what happens if we shoot them. Oh. It's an apple core. Uh, uh, is that actually useful? Oh, I don't reckon it is. Oh, another med kit. And another med kit. The number four. Okay, let's take more damage if you do headshots. There's so many just items about. I kind of like that. Because, like, in, let's say, uh,. Resident Evil 1 and Silent Hill 1, the available items were lacking. Uh, so it made the game a lot harder. That's not to say that this game would be hard. Because I reckon it's going to be pretty hard um, once we get deeper in. I know a fair few of our creative friends have already finished this. And I just think that's impressive. Uh, we won't be too far behind them after we finish. So supposedly, if we shoot this, we can do something. Ah, yeah, we can injure ourselves. Hey, okay, right. L to do that. Note to self. Do not. Do not shoot the box when you're face on with it. Because that's going to go bad. Oh, hang on. House. Yeah, that's got a key hole. I don't even need to check. That's a locked door. Right. Uh, 
Got anything there? Ah, that one was an empty one. That was a waste of a bullet. I don't just have bullets to throw around, you know. One grenade, right. Avoid the bear trap. The creepy face. Oh yeah, there's a keypad here. Which will do that. Um, there's no point in even interacting with it because I already know uh, from the demo that we need to do some other stuff uh, related to this wonderful man. There you go, half a mile. Photographer extraordinaire is there. We're going to have to fix him. Even though we've actually got a whole bunch of med kits, so we could definitely fix him. Some nasty banana peel. Is that actually usable? Ah, uh, right, yeah. There's his photo. This time it's a slightly better one, but it's still a bit pixelated and blurry. Uh, what's this? I think this is... Yeah, it's the boats. Okay. We can't do anything in here just yet. Uh, May 1986. Okay, a few months before I was born. Crow Country Theme Park coming soon. Cancel your weekend plans with the in-laws and grab your sunglasses. A brand new theme park is opening just a few miles southeast of Atlanta. Explore Fairy Tale Town, Haunted Hilltop and Ocean Kingdom at Crow Country, which promise a day full of fun and adventure for the whole family. The park is owned by one Mr. Edward Crow, a lifelong Atlanta local and landowner. Yes, that's right. It appears he named the park after himself. Not much is known about Mr. Crow other than vague, unsubstantiated reports that he is exceptionally wealthy. Nonetheless, we look forward to seeing what Crow Country has to offer when it opens its gates this summer. Um, he definitely would have to be wealthy to create a theme park. They're expensive. If a swan breaks down, just take the egg out of its wheel system. Doing so disables the radio signal and unlocks the wheels until you can get a mechanic out to fix it. Okay. And then we've got broken wheel, broken duck head. We've got another thing. So the eggs are going missing. I think kids are stealing them. Luckily, it turns out you can use anything as long as it's about the right size and shape. It's weird. I assume that the eggs were magnetic or something, but apparently not. Okay. So we just have to find an egg shaped something. And, well, I guess we could put it into that strange head. Yeah. Okay. Find an egg shape something, put it into the mouth, operate the thing, and probably get something. And we can't do anything there yet, though. We need to go find the egg. Eggs. With that, both pin that we can get creatures to go in there. So right, we go ahead now. Two ways. Well, we'll go to the left, following all kinds of standard adventure rules. Read staff memos. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they get at the safe space. Humanoid enemies will take more damage if. Right, we've already read that. So. Here we go. Oh god, why am I yawning? Oh, apart from I didn't sleep well. Um, right. This is... Hey, we done them both. Okay. Interesting. So they're basically uh, highly infected people, maybe? I mean, they're humanoid, whatever they are. So we've got here. We've got a door that we can't get out of, a large shutter. We've got a strange wooden crate. Ship to Marvin Trumbo, 1800, Cal River, Power, Brazil, South America. 
some piece of geological interest. Each one is embedded with pieces of shiny metal. Can we not just take one? It looks like we could have had a useful, like, egg shaped thing. Well, that's where the dig site access is, that cute little house. Okay, so there's a dig going on inside. And we can't get in there yet. Okay. Strange place to have a dig site. Um, I guess there's reasons for it. Alright, what is this? Yeah, okay, quick turn. Come on, give me something. Ah. Tolman's Records, March 21st, 1988. Monday morning, driving to work. Boss calls into my car radio. He doesn't normally do that. Something has obviously gone wrong. Intruder alarm going off in the second unit. Boss thinks someone is down there. Get to work. Check the security cameras. Someone is down there. He's standing right by the pool. All security doors down to the pool are locked. Check security records. Doors untouched since 6 p.m. on Friday. Alarm has only just been triggered. I turn on the intercom. Try to communicate. No response. But I can hear the sound he's making. Something is wrong. His clothes don't fit him. Something is very wrong. Okay. Is it two, one? Oh no, there's no zero. So we need to find a code for that. Uh, this is all of our staff memos. So this is a save room. Hey, there's a grenade there. Definitely sensible to shoot the glass jar with the grenade in. Uh, it's not going to blow up the, gr the, the grenade as we have. Just look, actually, it doesn't. <laughs> fireplace. The fire is crackling softly. Staring into the flames, I feel something. It's curious mixture of hope and dread. Maybe everything will be okay. Maybe it won't be. Let me save. Yes! <laughs> right. We've got ourselves protected. This is important. Why on earth does it say uh, 5th of December 2024? I don't know if that's my Steam deck or if that's just the in-game date that we've just saved against. I have no idea. Ooh, there's a map. No, it's this. Take that. Now we can figure things out. Oh, look, there's a history of 1848 Gold Rush by Stephen E. Cook. Nice. Uh, collection of video game tips. So that's all the tips that we've been finding so far. We've missed number six. And number eight. Remember to get into the fairy pond area, say this out loud. Hear me, O oh great fairy of fairest forest. It's pretty sensitive. It won't work if you have an accident, so it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Mining your own business. Economics of the mining industry. So this is all stuff that we did like play around with in the demo, which is nice. But we are coming up to the 20 minute mark. I think we've got time to run out before we all have to pause and we start this antidote there, so we should take that. Alright, so the only thing that I need to do is figure out the code for that cabinet. We also need to figure out the code at the fairy fountain. And... Yeah, look at this stuff. The duck! Oh, but there's creepies coming out of the vents. No thanks. We'll just run. Running is a fine and valid move in uh, survival horror games. Never, ever decide that you have to stay standard. Okay, so it's a cosmic future coming summer 1990. So we're about to expect expand with a cool little future piece, uh, which obviously we didn't do. No, just a soda can. Uh, if you're looking for the machine chain, one of the swan boat people took it to fix a broken swan. I told them not to take it. They took it anyway. Can't reason with swan boat people. <laughs> Important information there. Do not try to reason with swan boat people. You can't. <laughs> oh, there's a hole here. 
Ah. All right, so Arthur cut his way in. Ah. Hey Ed, want some good news? I finally found a good site for a gold mine. It's in Para, Northern Brazil. Just like we wanted, there's a disused mine here. The locals gave up on it years ago. It's still in decent shape, so it shouldn't be too much work to get it looking at the part. Cool. Okay, so we can't progress down that way. We should now have the map. All right, so here we go. I've got all those lock doors, lock doors. So, yeah, we need to do something with the swan boats. That's all we know. We don't have an egg like item yet. How are we going to get that? Uh, take a look at your leg. If healing item. Let's heal him up. Move Arthur. I think the best place to put him is back in the safe room, right? Where he's safe. Ah. Huh. Or her car. That's actually not a bad idea. Your car is probably safe. So now that Arthur is gone, we should have something here that's useful. Free lady, three one eight four. That's what we wanted. So we go here. Go here. Three. Uh oh. Three. One. Eight, four. And then we need to say the thing to her. It was, oh, great fairy. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't pay attention. It was hear me. Oh, great fairy. Oh, fairy's forest. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There we go. Right, we made it. We made it to the next zone. Where hopefully we'll find the egg that we can then use and do the next thing. Right, so let's see here. A pool of water. It's absolutely filthy. Of course, it's absolutely filthy. Those who seek the truth stare into the pure reflective water of our fairy pond. Not very reflective. I'm sorry to tell you that. It's a curtain. I think there's something behind it. Oh, heck yeah. It's a pump mechanism. And there's a dial. Uh huh. Cool. We can't carry anymore. That didn't go the way we wanted. So I think there's something else over here. Anyway, we are at the 20 minute mark. Okay, so this has been the first 20 minutes of Crow Country. We will pick straight back up from this point in the next episode. But until next time, keep it geeky. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.